This next story is one that is hard to tell, and the video is hard to watch. But the victim feels it's important that you know what happened to her inside a local jail. Channel 3 News is the only station in town who has this disturbing video. Now the investigator, Tom Meyer, joins us with an exclusive Channel 3 News investigation on what's being called an outrageous strip search of a Stark County woman. Tom? Well, Hope Steffi has sued the Stark County Sheriff, accusing deputies of using excessive and brutal force. The sheriff denies the allegation. Now, this story may be hard to watch, but the victim and her husband want me to show you what happened in hopes that you and those you love will never experience a night like this. Hey! You're going up for Hope Steffi is scared to death. Her husband, a high school educator, I want to show you this, okay, can't believe what he's watching on videotape as Stark County Sheriff deputies pin his wife down to a jail cell floor. You don't treat people like this. I don't think murderers are treated like this. Steffi weighs 125 pounds. She's in handcuffs, face down. Yet her lawyers say up to seven individuals working for the sheriff or jail are in the cell. Both women and men deputies forcibly remove all her clothes. What are you doing? Two, two males holding her down as she's butt naked. That's wrong. The video obtained exclusively by Channel 3 News gives us a rare inside look and what can happen to you or a loved one, even if you're the one who calls police for help. What did she say? She said she felt like she was raped without penetration. Back to this disturbing video in a moment. First, how did Steffi wind up in the sheriff's custody? Amazingly, it started with a 911 call for help. <laughs> Who's crying? Um, the girl that got attacked, my second cousin. Okay, what... Is she hurt? Um, she, she has a cut on her nose, she's bleeding, and there's a patch of hair on the ground beside the car. <laughs> a deputy responds to a report of an assault. Hope Steffi is identified as the victim, the one who needed help. But when help arrives, things get even worse. Hope was not treated as the victim. The situation gets complicated. Steffi says she accidentally turned over the wrong driver's license. It belonged to her sister who passed away. Steffi keeps it as a personal memento. Despite her pleas to return it, her lawyer says the officer refuses. The officer had said to her, shut up about your dead sister. The sheriff denied that allegation in a written response to Steffi's lawsuit. He accuses the injured Steffi of starting the altercation with a deputy. Soon, Steffi is put in the back seat of the sheriff's cruiser. Listen closely on dash cam video as Steffi's friend reassures her that she's the victim and that nothing will happen to her. I know you didn't do anything, Hope. He needs to know that it's not your fault. Eventually, Steffi is handcuffed and hauled away to the Stark County Jail to answer questions. Among them, do you have any weapons or sharp objects? Have you ever thought of harming yourself? When Steffi responds, now or ever, she says deputies knock her down and place her feet in a pretzel position. And you have to ask yourself, what was the purpose of this strip search? What was the necessity of it? This is a disorderly conduct claim. Steffi repeatedly questions officers about what they're doing. This is horrific. This is a government agency forcing their will on a citizen. Steffi pleads for deputies to stop, and when they begin removing her underwear and bra, she begins to scream. That could be your wife. That could be anybody's wife. For the next six hours, Steffi was left in a cell completely naked, without even a blanket to cover herself, and the sheriff admits it. She says she wrapped herself in toilet paper to keep warm and to prevent anyone else from seeing her nude. She also says she was denied access to a phone and medical assistance for injuries that included a cracked tooth, a bulging disc, and bruises. The sheriff again denies the allegation. Lawyers for Steffi say the video speaks for itself. The force used was completely unwarranted. Her lawyers say this is a strip search, and the sheriff's own policy says 
officers conducting the search must be of the same sex. Clearly, in this case, men played a key role. The last two individuals to leave that cell with her completely naked were both men. What would any woman fear? Eventually, Stuffy was told she was being charged with disorderly conduct and resisting arrest. When they took her to booking, her husband says they forced her to wear nothing but a weighted vest like this. Tomorrow night at 11, new exclusive video and questions about whether all jailhouse video was released. Tim? You're certainly right, Tom. It's, it's hard to watch and hard to listen to. Have you heard from the Stark County Sheriff about all this? I have. Just this afternoon, he emailed me. He'll, he says he'll do most of his talking in court, but he did say they stripped Steffi of all her clothes for her own safety. He admits they forcibly removed her clothes because she refused to remove them voluntarily. Now, her husband says that's just not true. He says deputies stripped her without asking a single question. All right, Tom. Thank you. More on this tomorrow.